Hi everyone, it's time for TikTok. Today's feature artist is Andrew Warhol, otherwise known as Andy Warhol. Andy Warhol was the father of an art movement called Pop Art. Let's hear a little bit about him before we begin our project. Andy Warhol Jr. was born on August 6, 1928 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He really wanted to become a famous tap dancer. He loved comics when he was a child and even began drawing and cutting out paper figures. And so eventually, he became an artist. Before long, he invented a new type of art, pop art. Andy challenged traditional art by painting and drawing things from popular culture. He wanted to draw things that were close to him. His pictures show all sorts of things, which he saw every day, things you see every day. He drew bananas, soup cans, cartoon heroes, and even instructions for dancing. After all, he really wanted to be a tap dancer. So Andy Warhol saw that the other artists of the day were painting things like they saw them. Andy Warhol thought, well, why can't I draw a soup can? I love tomato soup. I use it every day, and the can means something to me. It's something that's very close to me. So that inspired him to draw things that he saw every day, which became pop art. Andy Warhol once put an exhibition on specifically for children with pictures of toys. He painted and drew lots of toys. And you know what he did? Instead of hanging them high on the wall, he hung them low so that they were at eye height for all the young kids to see. It's a great idea. You need to paint pictures of things you love, especially toys. So many people wanted to buy Andy Warhol's pictures that he couldn't paint them fast enough. So he had an idea. He produced lots of prints of his work and invited his friends over for a color party where they took the outlines of his, of his paintings and he had them color them any way they saw. Lots of bright, crazy colors. It was so much fun. Maybe if you have some friends or family staying with you right now, you can have them have a painting party with you. You can all take the same picture and color it different ways. It's a great idea. Andy Warhol had lots of cats and he called all of his cats Sam. Kind of funny, huh? I guess he never forgot their names. Well, today we're gonna to be inspired by Andy Warhol and the way he took everyday objects that we love and made them into beautiful pieces of artwork. So, let's begin. Okay, so we're gonna need a piece of paper, a pencil with an eraser, crayons, and markers if you have them, and an object you want to draw. Hmm, well, I thought about it, and I'm kind of going after what Andy Warhol's famous for. I love Campbell's soup, which is delicious. Tomato is always my favorite, but I really like SpaghettiOs. And I thought this had a really fun label. So I'm gonna draw a can of SpaghettiOs. So I like to draw with pencil first and then I can erase any mistakes I might make. So, the top of my can is gray, so I'm going to start with that.
yellow. Voila! My spaghetti can. Good. Now, I can draw other things too. I can draw a banana, if I really love bananas, like Andy Warhol. Or I could draw a toy, maybe a little Lego guy. I love Legos. I once had my daughter's class do an Andy Warhol project where they took airhead wrappers and they created one wrapper and then put them all together to be a whole bunch of wrappers, kind of like Andy Warhol does. So find something you want to draw, something that's close to your heart, something you really love, and draw it. Outline it first with pencil, then use a marker or a heavy shaded crayon, and then color it in. There's lots of things you can do. Ask your friends and your family to do it with you. It's a lot of fun. Enjoy! Till next week, bye!